Okay, it shows that I'm live. I have no one watching right now, so we will wait till someone comes on and go from there. Okay, it shows that we have one person watching. If you'd like to say hi to me. Okay, we got a thumbs up. We'll wait and let a few more people jump on if anyone else comes on and um, see what we what we pick up on. Hello. Greetings to you. It shows we've got three. I hope everyone has been doing awesome. Hello. Okay. Shows we've got five. nice to see you join me so yeah um i thought i would jump on for just a bit and okay australia that's awesome it's nice to see you on here um and we'll we're gonna pull some cards and just see what we get hello canada awesome well, I am so glad that y'all are joining us um, on here or joining me. It's me by myself, but um, yeah, I just felt like I should come on and um, see what we get. I think I'm going to take a mixture of cards. I'm thinking um, I'm going to pull probably some um, angel messages. Um, I also feel like I may pull some... Um, Romance Angels. I am in, um, actually in North Carolina is where I'm, I'm at. I know I've got a southern draw, I'm told. Yes, I tend to pick up on Aquarius um, more than any other sign, probably because I'm an Aquarius. So where many are at... Um, I probably traveled some of that already. And um, I don't know. I just tend to pick up on Aquarius quite often. I do pick up on other signs as well. But um, it's like, I don't know. I don't know whether, you know, it's from people praying for answers or, or guidance or what. Because, you know, just like... Um, if you're looking for guidance and you're looking up at the stars or you're looking down, you know, at the ground. Also, if a reading comes across for you and comes in front of you and you feel drawn to it, that could be your guidance. Um, you know, every reading is not for everyone. And um, I mean, that's, you know, there's a lot of people. Um, I do find that I pick up on a lot of people who, you know, have subscribed Um and, I, you know, I even pick up on people that, you know, I may be um, somehow like social media and such. Yeah. So let's see here. Okay. Aquarius. Yes. And thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've, I've been told I've got a southern draw and I'm okay with that though. Pretty proud of where I'm from. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to take some romance angels. And the way I want you to do this is um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Since I'm not like, you know, I don't feel like I'm supposed to write down everybody's name and go about it that way. I'm going to like take three of each card. And I want you to look at them. It's kind of like a pick a card. But I want you to look at them. And I want you to kind of feel into it, which is for you. Um, 
and we're going to do it that way. We're going to do it that way with each one. And then I'm going to give you what I feel as well. Um, like per se, whenever I get to the tarot, I will tell you what I feel from that. Because I feel like there's a good chance we could pick up on so much, you know, and it could be money. It could be um, just so much, you know. So we're going to start with, I think we're going to start with an angel card. Yes, we do. We do have a rather big Aquarius tribe. Um, but, you know, we, we have, I have such a soul tribe here and I just love it. And they're not all Aquarians. But, you know, we, I tell people, not don't always look at when a reading says it's for a certain sign. Go on what you feel. You know, if, if you're drawn to a title, then there's a reason. There's probably going to be something you'll take away. Now, it may not be that whole reading. You know, it, it could be just the idiotiest, bittiest little thing, but it can make a difference. Okay, so first off, I think we're going to start with this deck. Let me show you. I think we'll start there. I'm going to take three cards. And then I'm just going to have you two. Um, well, actually, see, they're throwing them out. So, actually, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to make it a little easy for you. I think I'll make it easy for you. Okay. Okay, we got one. We got the second. We got the third. Okay. And I've got a lot of cards, so we'll just go down and do this with different cards. I just see what we get. Okay, let me set these out here. Now I want to show you. Now I want you to pick. You pick which one you feel. You know. Pick which one you feel. I have put a stone, so it's a little bit easier. This is going to be one, two, and three. Take a moment. Clear your mind. I, what I like to do is I like to actually close my eyes. I like to look at them really good and then close my eyes and um, see which comes before me uh, with my eyes shut. Now, it may not work for everyone, but I feel like it will for some. So, one, two, three. Just feel into it, which feels like it's for you. And that's going to be, you know, if you feel it's for you, that's that'll be your message. And we're going to start with number one here. I've got this rose quartz with it. And I'm going to show you. Hopefully, it's picking that up. Oop. Okay, what it says is eight of abundance. This is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing art. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career, a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. So this has, okay, if you have been, um, I feel like anticipating something, really thinking about something really hard, I feel like that, you know, by this card saying this, you need to do the, you need to, do, actually, you need to look into it. You don't, don't jump into something. Uh, don't, um, you know, just jump from one thing to the next. Although this could be time for a career change. This could be a time for climbing up the ladder. But you need to, um, okay. This is a time to really look at things, really research things, really um, feel into it. Because it's, it's almost like someone has choices or they're going to. And 
these choices, it's almost like they seem like the same, but they're not. They're going to be really different. And if you make the wrong choice, then you'll find out later on, well, I should have chose the other because the other does. And it's not it's not that there's this big old giant difference, although they could be for, yeah, they could be. But it may just be as little as like um, a dollar more on, you know, what you make. Or it could be, oh my goodness, it could be as much as getting to travel or, um, you know, and it be paid for. So it could be a big difference. So really, really do what you need to do as far as looking into that, figuring that out. And also, I feel like for someone that, um, someone that's in school, there's more classes that needs to be taken. Um, and they, you know, it's almost like they, they have these different thoughts on what they want to do. Um, but it's almost like they're ready to settle. And I feel like they shouldn't. I feel like they should go that extra route because that even though they choose to do one thing, they'll have that backup later. I don't know who that's for. That's That feels pretty for someone. Okay, that's number one. That feels like that's more about career, more about um, money, more about schooling, you know, what can benefit you in the long run. I also feel like if someone... Um, Someone may need a mentor. They may need to reach out to um, now about spiritual. This is got okay. It's almost like someone may be um, wanting to go to school for such as um, you know traveling and and really um, I can't think of the word, but going abroad, and it has to do with spirituality. They may just, I feel like they need to seek out um, mentors or they need to seek out someone that they can speak to, someone they can talk to about it. That's what I feel. Okay, number two. And we have this beautiful stone and we're going to see what it says. Okay, let's let you see it. I hope you can see it anyhow. I can't see it because the lights. Okay, this is seven of emotion. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make. But you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So, you know, what, if you chose this card, what have you been putting off that you already know the answer? No one really has to tell you, you know, the answer, you know, and you really need to think about what is best for you. I feel like that sometimes, you know, we think about everyone else and we kind of forget ourselves, so to speak. And that feels like what that, that message is basically towards people who are, um, who, whoever out there chose it. You know what you need to do. I mean, I'm going to tell you, someone, someone, ha okay. There's someone that's holding on to someone from the past. And, I, you know, I feel like this is pretty precise. Um, it's not that they have them physically because they don't. They may be, you know, in touch with them of sorts or they see them somehow. Maybe they're social media or something. Um, but it's as though within they're still holding on and um it's like you're blocking you're blocking what's meant for you because you cling to what is not meant for you now i don't know who that's for but that's what i'm feeling um and it's hard for them because there this is such a strong connection it feels like it could be um well for for some it could be actually a soulmate connection but it's it's like a lesson you know, this is someone you learn a lesson from um, and that that's what they were in your life for. Now, I feel like that um, for some, though, this could be a karmic relationship and it's very hard to just pull away from it, um, even though it's not together. Now, that's what I'm getting from that. And then we have number three here. We have this beautiful stone and we have... You can see that. I hope you can. Five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. 
Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that anyone can move forward or everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path to joy. And you see, this could very well go along with this one for some of you. So, you know, if you feel like every card is for you, there's a reason. And you're going to know. I mean, these are pretty, they're pretty, you know, precise there as to what they are. I mean, they pretty put it out there. So, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I, whenever I, you know, I look at, if I watch a reading, and I do watch some readers, uh, you'll find in, sometimes in my um, descriptions, I'll put check out certain channels, you know, um, because I feel, especially whenever I go to put on my, like, at, and I put mine, I'll have certain ones that'll just, it's like it clicks them. And there's a reason. There's something, someone's going to get something from a different reader. That's what it feels like. Okay, I feel like for some some that all three was going to pull me. And I'm going to tell you, you may not feel nothing from none of it right now. And it could click you, you know, tomorrow, the next day. And you'd be like, and sometimes, you know, you may have to go back and watch another reading. That's the thing. Or watch an old one or an old live stream like this. You know, um, well, this is a new one, but, you know, it will be an old one. And because sometimes... There's something in there for later on because they're not, they're timeless. It's timeless, you know, and um, even when I pick up on certain things, unless I'm picking up on like, a, unless I'm having sight or, um, you know, picking up that way um, because that would be precise. But let's see, let me get me a drink of my tea. Okay. So now I think we're going to do, um, I think we'll do some, well, we've got seven. Let me see. What do we want to do? What cards are drawing me to them? Let's see. I think we'll take a um, couple spirit animal cards. I think we're going to do that. And um, I'll do it the same way. That way you can just look at it. And you can pick what's kind of pulling you to it. Okay. That one, we're actually going to do two decks at once. And you just pick what pulls you to it, just like the other. Okay. Okay. One. Two, three, one, two, three. Same way. This is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. So Take you, take you a few seconds here. Look at them. Close your eyes and see which stack is drawing you to it. One, two, or three. And we're going to start with number one here. So if you chose number one, then this will be for you. 
And we've got two cards. Here's the two cards that we've got. Hopefully you can see them. I'm going to read them to you. We've got the eagle, which is about mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the wind of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. You know, and there is something, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, we've been having a lot of wind lately. You know, that is so spiritual um, and it's magical, you know, just to feel it on your skin. Um, I don't know, just something about a, a breeze. And then we have here, which is the groundhog spirit, number 31, if you're into numerology, time to let go. So, it's time to let go of whatever is holding you back. It's time to let go of the baggage, let go of the burden, let go of anything that keeps you standing where you're at. Now, you know, many times we can hold on to pain as well and not, you know, not healing it, not um, whew, balancing, you know, and that can keep us stuck. We could hold on to past people who are not, you know, in our life or doesn't want to be in our life, yet we, we cling to their memory or we cling to what was. That can hold you and keep you stuck. Um, this could be for so many different people. Um, you know, and I'm going to be honest, for some, this I feel like for someone, um, there's there's some form of addiction that needs to go. Um, you know, an addiction does not have to be um, drugs or alcohol. Addiction can be so many different things. But it, it feels like, um, okay, okay, someone's hoarding. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Someone's hoarding and they want, it's like they want something in their life and, and until they clear the clutter. You know, I have a card that says clear out the clutter. I don't know which one it's in, but which deck, because I've got a lot of decks, but um, it's time to clear out. It feels like it's time for spring cleaning. There you go. I feel like that's for, for you know, everyone. Spring cleaning. You know, just push out what is not good for you, what is not um, benefiting your life. Because I'm telling you, someone's being held back by addictions. It's more than one. For someone, it's got something to do with hoarding. And I mean, it could be, as, it could be um, oh my goodness. I feel like someone is, um, you know, it's not, it's not, well, for someone it feels like it's total hoarding. For someone it feels like they, almost like they have collections. And it's like taking up so much space that um, it's, and, and it's almost like they've sat and they've been like, why do I, why do I have all this? Or why do I keep this? But yeah, it's still something that they have trouble with stopping, even though they want to. It's that type of feeling. Um, now, for some, though, this is about your heart. And it's about what, oh, my God, someone's holding on to memories. And this is holding on to people that they need to let go of because it's in the past. It's that type of feeling. Okay, number two. We have those beautiful cards. Okay, the dragon, supernatural, that's what it's about. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. So, you know, I feel like that for someone, what this is saying is, a, you know, you, you, it's like you can bend, you can, you know, kind of bend yourself to everyone else. Okay, don't walk on no eggshells. <laughs> Please don't do that. Um, if that's what you're doing, don't do that, you know, because it does. It feels like that some are just, you know, at will doing whatever. It's like they can just, but they're not, it's, it's not good for them. Now, for some of you, 
I feel like that, um, you know, I feel like you, you have a lot more knowledge within you than you know. And um, very spiritual. You know, you just need to, I feel like um, meditation is needed for someone. Um, we've got number 45 here. And it's parrot, parrot spirit. Watch your words. So, you know, if there's something you feel like you shouldn't say, maybe you shouldn't say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I also feel like for someone, oh my goodness, you know, don't allow anything to keep you down. You can you can bring yourself back up. Um, you've got this. For whoever that needs to hear that, you know, you've got this. So that's a, that's a beautiful message. Very spiritual feel to it. And then we have number three. Okay. We've got Puffin. And it's about partnership. Accept yourself and you co your colorful personality. Be you. Feel confident about being you. Be happy with who you are. You know, that, if you love yourself, that's what matters. That's what this is feels like. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. That's beautiful. And then you got number 57, squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. You got this. Be confident in who you are. Don't let anyone take you down from who you truly are. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Valerie. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. Now, let's, um, let's see. Those were kind of heavy readings there. But, you know, I feel like that when they come in like that, they're really needed. There's something, you know, and we can all take away from something in those cards, it feels like. Even myself. Okay, let's see. I am going to take some Romance Angel here in a little bit. I'm waiting to see if anyone else comes on. Um, because when I do that, I want to also take... I've got this tarot, tarot deck here. Now, it's got words with it. But this tarot deck, for some reason, it's got this feel to it that goes in, it feels like, romantically. So... I definitely want to incorporate that with Romance Angels. Plus, I have the other romantic cards. But right now, I feel like we need some more angel messages. It just feels like it. So, I've got this deck. We're going to do that one. We're going to do this one as well. Hopefully, you can see that. And let's see. It feels like we need another one. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to do this one. So, um, we will take cards for each of these. We'll take one for each. And we're going to do it the same way and see what we get. And then, um, I think we will start doing a little tarot that way. I like doing the pick of cards. I was doing some of them in the videos as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, ready everyone? Let's see. Well, hello fellow Aquarian. We probably have a lot of Aquariuses here tonight. Uh, I can't see all of the words. Okay, let's get, we're going to get three of these. So we're going to do it the same way. Okay, we got three of those. Let's get three of these. Hmm. This 
one um, wanted to jump out. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So that's very important. Seeding the light, laying foundations, you know, being on your spiritual path, helping others going forward, it feels like. Okay, let's do this. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Being drawn to different crystals. Okay, here we go. Put that one back over here. Here's our three. As you can see, we've got number one, number two, and number three. Now look at them. We've got different crystals there. And you just see what, what, when you close your eyes, which one draws you to it. Now I'm going to tell you, if you're drawn to all three, there's a reason. So just look at them and just go with it. Number one, we're going to do it first. Okay. We first have Fran Francesca. And this message is, it, what it tells us is, what do you desire right now? So, what is it that you desire right now? Visualize it. And it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. And I'm going to tell you, visualization, but I don't like to put a name on it. I don't like to put a face on if you are visualizing for true love or such, you know. Um, you know, I want the one meant for me. So, I don't like to put a face because you don't, you don't want someone um, if they're not truly for you. And remember, don't be in negative thought. Push it out. Sometimes that's hard. And if you know you succumb to a negative, say a negative hour in your day or a negative day, next day, pick yourself back up, pull in the positivity, push out the negativity. Then we have here a number 11, water elemental. You see that? What it says is, I allow my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life. I love that card. And then we have here, and you see it makes so much sense because it, I want you to look, you've got align your life and allow your life, allow yourself to flow through the changes of life. See, it's, 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 it's like they've put these together perfectly. You know, with this card right here, I will show you. I want you to look at that. I hope that you're seeing it. I hope you can see it. But, you know, it's like the face is cut. It's like it's all in in mixed, you know, just not really going together, right? Align your life. Be in balance, you know. What is not aligned or needs to change? That's a question that you need to ask yourself. You know, maybe you want to sit down and just, you know, kind of um, meditate on it. You know, what is not aligned in your life? And what needs to be changed or what needs to go? You know, what, what is not benefiting you? What is not for your highest good? Okay, that's number one. Now let's move over to number two. Okay, we have opal. We'll have, we have opal first. So we're going to read opal. Hopefully you're seeing it. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So, you know, if you worry a lot about your children, your family, you know, this is a message letting you know that your prayers have been heard. Whether your children are here or whether they, they have done past, you know, your prayers have been heard and your children, you know, God's heard your prayers. This is this is awesome message to get. Okay. 
Then we have 23, the present. Are you in the present or are you, you know, something to think about? I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present moment. You know, being here, being now. And then we have here unbound. I hope you can see that. This card here, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Being unbound to what has kept you bound, feels like, for someone. Okay, and then we have number three here. We're going to start with Athena. And what this says is, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. And then you've got number 31, Embrace Change. I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life. You see all these messages. If you felt like they were for you, there's a reason. Then you have here Soul Family. That's so beautiful. Look at that. I hope you can see it. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. If you need help, ask for help. Okay, let me take a look here. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. You know, Lizzie, I feel like that. Um, I feel like you need to pray about that. I mean, seriously. And you need to meditate on that and ask, you know. Um, I like to meditate personally. Um, I also like to do, you know, lots of, um, I don't know, just getting out. I like, I've been going out on like the porch and just sitting and just, you know, taking in the air and the breeze. And I feel like you get a lot from that. Okay. Hello. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, happy heavenly birthday. Let's see. Yes, and that, okay, I'm getting spirit tingles. I'm getting spirit tingles, so yes, um, Laura, uh, you're, you know, we, we worry, but they're right there with us, and oftentimes, you know, just that, that little tingle you may feel, or that little, um, if you're out in the wind and that whistle in your ear. You know, I've wrote a lot of poetry and um, there's a lot of a lot of my poems that I don't know. They just feel like they have to do with um, well, like butterfly kisses, you know, butterflies uh, coming from heaven above, bringing kisses uh, for those from those you love. You know, I've just I don't know. There's something about certain some certain poems, but um it is very grounding. I know. I can't remember what I was doing. I was doing something and I didn't have my shoes on. And, and I mean, this was, it, it had been raining and stuff. And I just went running outside and um, I don't know. I felt so much better after doing that, just getting my feet on the ground. And I, I love to just do that. I love to go barefoot. Yep.
Yeah, Valerie. And see, I'm getting spirit tingles again as you say that. Um, you know, and it's like animals. When I tell people to look for signs, you know, certain things like that. You, say you notice an animal that you haven't been noticing. You know, there's messages with that. Um, and just like I was, I was sitting out on the out on the ramp one day, and I had my notepad and you know, just waiting for a poem to come or such. And all of a sudden, whoops, my eyelash. All of a sudden, a butterfly landed right there on um, my notepad. And all of a sudden, I had a poem about butterflies. It was just, yeah. I am going to have to get my daughter to check my eye. I think I've got something in it, but... Okay, let's see. See if I can carry on. If not, I may have to take a moment. Okay, I think I got it. Maybe. Maybe not. I will be right back. Just give me just five seconds to get my eye figured out here. I will be right back. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am so sorry. I did have something on my eyelashes. So, yeah, sorry about that. Hopefully, everybody's still here. Okay, so let's see. I think we're going to do some romance angels. What do you think? It was an awesome message. Okay, let me put these away and we will. Um, we will do some romance angels. Let's see. Okay. And I'm basically going to do them the same way. And that way you're choosing what you feel. Because I feel like that's that'd be better. To do it that way. Okay. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Romance angels. Here we come. Um, actually, I'm going to end up taking. I'm going to take a few here. And I'm going to get my rose quartz. Because. You know, rose quartz of love and romance. So let's find some rose quartz here. Actually, I got three different ones. So we'll go with it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Whoop, we have one just jump out. That's going to be number one. Okay, let's go with this. I'm actually going to take several different cards. And we're just going to go with it. And we're going to see what we get for you. Okay. Number two. Number one, number two. Three.
Yep, I'm going to take you a heart card. Okay, one. Two. Three. These all kind of tie in with romance or love. And you see we've got, okay, these two that have felt fallen out here, uh, they happen to fall out right as my phone dinged. These I will go over separately. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Now, if you've been putting your energy in here, you may get your... If you had a question or such, you may get the answer from a stack. You know, if it has something to do with romance or love or, you know, romantic love in any sorts. Okay. These will have a message upon them themselves. Okay. No. Okay. To feel it. Sometimes you just got to go with what you feel. Follow that intuition. Strengthen your knowing. What God's trying to tell you. Believe in it. Okay. We're going to start here. Now, this is one. This is two. This is three. These could tie into this. Or this could be something separate for someone. Um... For one of you. You know, it could very well be. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here. Okay. Someone is wiring a mask. Someone's not telling someone something. Um, now, someone is um, deeply heartbroken. Uh, I feel like that um, some of this, it's almost like over... You're letting yourself get over feel for something that is, yeah. See that ding? Um, it's almost like don't do it to yourself. I'm going to show you the cards. And then I'm going to read them to you. But you see those cards. I feel like that, you know, this is a feeling like someone is letting someone really just mess with their emotions up. But really, it is them reading more into something than is truly even there with, a, with someone. Now, I'm going to read these to you. If you feel it, it's probably for you. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Now, those are the words. Those are the words on the card. Does not mean they all have to go together, although they can. But you know, th this is like how, how you're feeling or someone's feeling. This is how they're feeling. It, it's a feeling. It's, um, there's this sense of, um, not knowing. Maybe not understanding, you know, a sense of a yearning for whatever, you know, it's almost like um, if you look at, if you're reading a book, you know, if you look, go to the end of the book, you find out what's going to happen. So it's like someone wants to know what honestly they may not need to know at that moment in time. Um, and then with mask, not showing true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So, I feel like this card here definitely goes with this card for someone. But for someone else, I feel like this is all on its own. I feel like they're dealing with someone who's gaslighting them. Someone who is making them believe one thing when in actuality it's totally different. I mean, it's like. I don't know if they're really playing with their feelings, their emotions, or what. 
but you know, there's a, there's a bit of putting themselves out there one minute and the next minute it's like they're over here doing their own thing and they don't, you know, um, it's got that feel to it. So, I, you know, take, take whatever is for you and leave the rest behind. Now let's get back to our stacks. Okay. One, two, three. Look at them. Close your eyes. Which one's calling you? Which one, you know, brings you to it? One, two, or three. Or maybe it's all three. We'll start here with number one. We're actually going to start with the romance angel. And what you've got is you've got passion. This says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So someone may be going to have some passion for someone, or maybe you've got passion for someone, or there's passion within a connection. But I also feel like, you know, there's a need for someone to really, I feel like be more, okay, this this is someone that, that they, oh my goodness. Okay. They need to be more confident in themselves and be more passionate about their them themselves. You know what I'm saying? And that is that's really going to draw what they're wanting to them. It's that type of, of feeling. But I also feel like you know, someone's got some passion for someone, also. And then we have this beauty come out. Do you see that? Isn't that beautiful? These cards are just lovely. Romance, Cupid's arrow stripes. So Cupid's shooting someone in the rear. So yeah, um, you know. And if if you've already got this in your life, then you you know, well, you may be going to be going to a new level. You know, things could be changing. Things could be taking off. Things could be uh, really, you know, you've got those those little butterflies in your belly, and uh, it's just true love. It just feels awesome. Um, now, if you're waiting on that, oh, well, this could be coming to you. You know, claim what you feel is for you. Then we have here engagement ring. Oh, my goodness, look. Wow. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Now, does this mean automatically that someone's getting engaged? No, it doesn't have to. But, you know, it can mean that something is taking a turn. It's going for a higher commitment or this, you know, bigger spot. Maybe you're moving in together. Maybe you are getting engaged or maybe they're going to engage with, you know, get engaged to you or ask you or you're going to ask them. Or maybe this is just letting you know that, you know, you, you've found someone or you're about to find someone that can actually go go those steps with you. Now, you have to remember something people don't remember. They watch a reading and they're like, you know, and they're all expecting. People, everyone has free will. You know, it's not fortune telling. Everyone has free will. So that's something to remember. People don't, you know, often don't remember that. You know, then we have two of wings. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's about balance. You see it? It says it right there on the bottom. So, there is a need to balance what you're doing. I say try to flow. Try to flow. Try to find a balance in everything. Um, you know, and sometimes that's hard. <laughs> it is. Uh, Queen of Gems, the nurturer. So, being very nurturing, loving. This could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. Or this could be the person that's going to come into your life. Um, you know, and, you know, just don't forget you. That's, that's the big thing. You nurture everyone else. Nurture yourself. You know, how will you nurture everyone else if your cup runs dry? See what I'm saying? Okay, that's number one. Number one. Number two. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, 
Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's the message for someone. But then, looky here. Well, let me show you this side first. And then it says on the other side, freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So, are you holding yourself back on something? You know, maybe it's within you that's holding you back from something. Something to think about. Because then we have soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. That's a beautiful card. Now, these two cards here, we have Princess of Wings, the messenger, and we have the number 14, which is temperance, patience. So it feels like there's a message coming in or going out. Now, here's the key. There, you're going to have to be patient. This is dealing with a soulmate. And, you know, you may have to really stand back and be patient and just let this flow, let this go where it will go and, and not force, not push. Okay, I'm seeing the let go of control issues card. Um, and just allow. So that's what I've got for number two. Number three. Okay, we've got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And, you know, if there are addictions, that needs to be dealt with. Because that's something that, you know, it's going to affect. It's not going to stop until it's dealt with. Now, addictions can be so many different things, like I mentioned earlier. does not have to be, um, you know, uh, drugs or alcohol. It could be overeating. It could be overindulging in something. It could be um, spending too much money. You know, it could be so many different things. It's just unreal. Um, but it needs to be dealt with because it, it's something, whatever this is, it's, it's, it's putting a halt, a block where roman your romantic life is concerned now the next card out is it's a beautiful one because it feels like once someone deals with whatever's holding them back that you know is a codependent and, and this could very well for someone this may have to do with money it may have to do with your you know not having your money in in order or not having your stability and once you you know reach whatever this is I want you to look at the next card because it's really a beautiful one. New beginning. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So be passionate. This is beautiful. So once someone deals with, you know, whatever they got to deal with, it's like, Boom. Things just flourish and start going. Looky here. We've got passion. Wow. Now this is this is some hot passion here. This may be a new lover or, you know, a new, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, new lover, new friend. There's a lot of passion, it feels like. It says insane chemistry. And that's what this is feeling like for this reading. Like each other equally having fun so this is going to be quite the adventure of fun and very passionate very fiery uh, relationship it feels like then we have nine of wings and we have zero the fool and trust now nine of wings is obsession so hmm you know obsession can be it can be a something you want to look out for but it doesn't have to be you know um i don't feel like it always has to be a bad thing you know but it can it very well can be but then we have trust here so i feel like you know if someone is really over obsessing over you know a relationship or getting that relationship maybe this hasn't come into your life yet you know, maybe it's coming. If you over obsess about wanting and wanting and wanting, maybe you need to just have trust and faith 
and allow. You know, work on it feels like you with the codependency card. Work on what you need to work on about you. And it, it's like everything will fall into place, you know. And then you'll be taking, taking that leap of faith with the fool, you know, having that new beginning that's just so full of passion and a new friend, a new lover, the new person in your life. That's beautiful. It's got a beautiful feel to it. So let's see. Let's put these back. And then I think um, I think I'm going to I'm going to ask a few questions. Um, I think I want to ask. What do I want to ask? Give me just a second to figure this. Oh, let's see. Okay, I just had two that's flipped here. And I want to show you addiction and camera. That's what just, just flipped over. And they flip for a reason. So I don't know who this who needs to hear this. It could be someone that chose these. It could be someone totally else. But what it says is codependent. Could be all about this. Obsession. Could very well be about this because we had that obsession card. What it says is possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Just what I was telling. Okay. And then we have camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. Make memories. You know, making new memories. That is, that's, that's the thing. I mean, it's. You know, it's awesome to make memories. It's like me and my children. Um, two of, I say, me and two of my children yesterday, my son and my oldest daughter, my grandbaby, we went and we made memories. And it was awesome. Today, me and my son, my youngest daughter, and my mother, we went and we made memories. You know, it's awesome making memories. Family. Family is very important okay what we're going to do is um i want to take some cards now i'm going to use this deck here i'm trying to figure out how i want to word this um how i want to word this let's say hmm let's see I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some of these and we'll ask, um, what do you need to know about money? Now, that could be around work, money, you know, if you're needing to know anything. Um, but I'm also, I know we just used these. We're going to use them again. I'm going to take um, a few of these around love now does that mean romantic no that means in general you know that could be love for humanity love for yourself love for your family and you know it just can help give insights or help give that message of whatever you need to know okay let's see Whoop. okay we're going to take three of each like i said these three will be around money so you may not even work. That don't matter. You know, maybe you're going to win a lottery or something. You just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're going to find money. Um, you don't have to work. It doesn't mean that. Um, but then again, you could. Um, like I said. So let's do that. We'll take three of each and see what we get. Okay. Okay. We take three of these. Okay. 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 What what does the viewers need to know about money? Around money. Around money. Spirit, please. 
around the money. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, that's okay. Getting led in a different way this time. And we just go with it. Go with what I feel. Okay, now. Round love. Okay, that's round love. Ooh, they just started out a reading, people. Okay, this will come. I'll go into that after this is done. Okay, round love. No. Okay, round love. Remember what I said. Does not have to be romantic, but it can be. Okay. Now I want you to look at the cards. Just like you've been doing if you're new here. I am Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. I want you to look at them and pick which one you feel like is for you. Or pick all three if you feel like they're for you. One, two, three. Close your eyes. Which one's calling you to it? Let's start here at number one. We're going to start with the money aspect of this. We've got Ace of Acorns. We've got Ace of Feathers. Wow, you got two aces out. King of Acorns. Oh my goodness. Okay. The message for you is creative force and confidence. Be confident going forward with anything to do with money. Anything to do with money. You know, be very creative. Um, and I feel like you are. You know, even if that's, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, even if it's about what what you're wearing that day, you know, it's, it's. Oh, I don't know whether somebody's going for a job. Okay, mental clarity and foundation. Okay, so that's very, that's a very big deal. Whatever this is about is having your wits about you. Get plenty of sleep the night before. Uh, you want to build solid foundations whether this is around a job, whether this is around, um, oh my goodness, it could be around so many different things. Optimum. Okay, wait a minute. No, optimism. Okay, optimism. And innovation. So you need to be very innovative going forward. So if this is about a job, if this is about the job you're at now, I feel like that you need to sh you need to show what you can do with the creative force. You need to be very confident, um, but keep your wits about you because I feel like someone. I'm, I'm gonna just be honest. I feel like someone's dealing with um, someone who is jealous. I don't know whether it's a coworker or something, um, and they may you know try to take you <laughs> might, may try to take you down a notch. Um, or get you in trouble. But um, with foundations showing up, I feel like you definitely need to build solid foundations. That's a big deal. Um, you know, and be very innovative, innovative with going forward and doing what, what you're doing. It's very important. So there we go. So if that has to do with actually, you know, winning a lottery or something, I feel like you need to feel it. Now, I'm going to tell you, manifest what you want. You need to feel like you already have what you want. You know, be grateful for what you have. Be blessed and bring forth what you want. Now, on the love aspect, let's see what we've got here. King of Wings, the professional. Two of Gems, Change. And three of shells celebration. I'm gonna tell you what I'm feeling with this. There, okay, there's a relationship that if you're if you're going about it the wrong way, you need to change something. So maybe you're being too um, professional about it. Um, you know, and I don't I don't know what kind of relate. This could be any kind of relationship, um, but it's a relationship that can have a lot of celebration and a lot of happiness. But you've got it's almost like being too professional. It could very well tie into these cards here as well. But there could be a lot celebrated 
after we change something. There's something that needs to change. And I feel like it has to do with the way someone presents themselves. And maybe they're not, maybe they're being too pro, pro, professional and not showing what they can really do with the creative force card. So now let's move over here. Okay. Okay, about money. You got page of feathers, exploration and discovery. So I am drawn to a bicycle right there for some reason. Um and what looks like a light post. Someone, it feels like someone's going to um, discover something that they didn't know, and it's going to change something for them. Yep, there's number 10, the wheel. You know, the wheel of fortunes come out. And this is change, possibilities. Something is about to click for someone um, with this right here. And it could be in the way of a message. You know, the pages are messengers. You could get a message that changes everything. You know, changes something big. Because the wheel, number 10, 10s ten are about completion. 10s are about change. Change and possibilities. That looks good. So that's not a bad thing. Then we have here three of crystals, collaboration and productivity. So, you may actually be coming in contact with someone who can be of benefit to you where money is concerned. Things can grow. This could be a new partner. This could be a new venture. This could be, um, oh my goodness, a new business partner, a new work partner. Um, something really changing for the better, um, especially with the wheel coming out there. You know, it's like it's time for something to, to, to go in a different a different avenue. It's time for something to change. And that was asked about money. So, so if you, you've been having a hard time with money, it's, it's a feeling like things are about to change. You know. Someone, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, somebody may be coming into a... Um, oh... Yeah, I hate to say that, but um, where someone has left insurance or such, someone may be um, someone's they may be a beneficiary to it. Um, either insurance, there's something about coming into money. Okay, now I'm seeing the word land. So yeah, um, but now I'm seeing uh, the number three, and I'm being drawn to this card here. They may be three people that something has to be split between or something. So I don't know who that's for. That that feels like that's for one person. Um, pretty precise. Um, I feel like that you need to be patient. And um, this is going to be kind of a shock to you, the message about this. and But it's, you know, this was a, a true completion. But I feel like that with the, see, I'm drawn to the three. The three, um, you know, you you may have to you may have to stand up for yourself about something, and it may have to do with family. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. Somebody may not be happy that you are receiving something. Okay, that's all I'm getting for that. Um, now we go to the love, and I'm, like I said, that's for one person. That's not for everyone. That's like a, yeah. Okay, we go to the, the love part of this, and we have the adventurer, Princess of Rose. We've got disappointment, and we've got romance. Now, this, this, is, a, this is a feeling like um, someone's very adventurous, and they, they put themselves out there, and it's, it's like where romance is concerned, they feel disappointed. Now, I'm going to tell you, a mindset can cause, you know, if you feel one way, you bring in more of that. Stop thinking that way. Stop looking at the past and just re, you know, allowing it to come right. If you don't learn that lesson, you just keep bringing in people that's going to keep trying to teach you that lesson. You know, you don't learn it. So I feel like that, um, I'm going to be honest, I feel like someone's got someone coming towards them. 
that's very, very, very adventurous. But you're going to have to change the way you look at disappointment. It's like, it's like feeling like nothing can go forward because people just disappoint you. People just going to do the same thing over and over and over again. It's like a, it's stuck in someone's mind and it has to do with romance. It's time to change the way you think about that because it's like someone is coming towards someone and they're very adventurous. You know, they're going to, you know, and you're going, I feel like you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and change what you see about disappointment, what you feel about it. And that's what I'm getting from that. So now we're going to step over here around money. Let's see. Three of feathers, release, recovery, the empress. Number three, beauty and abundance. Ace of Crystals, manifestation and prosperity. Now, what did I just tell you? Manifest what you want. Now, I'm going to tell you, re release and recovery. Now, that's very important. I'm going to show you these cards. You see, release. What is holding you back? So, around money, what's holding you back? You know, that it could very well be a mindset. Do you see yourself as not deserving? Because how are you going to manifest what you want if you always see yourself as undeserving? You know, um, you know, may need to change the way you think about things. What were you taught? You know, were you taught that um, we shouldn't, you shouldn't want more than you have? You should, you know, you need to look at. It's almost like someone's got limited, limited. Uh, they've been taught something limited. You know, and it could be very much around money where, you know, you just be thankful for what you have. You know, uh, if you've got what you need right and you shouldn't want more. And I feel like that's limiting someone. Don't don't do that. You know, why? Why do you think you're not worthy? If you're worthy, then you're worthy. You know, know your worth and your value with this Empress card right here. Release what you need to release. Mindset, whatever it is that's holding you back. Because, you know, what's holding you back? What What is it that you need to look at around money that's affecting you about having what you want? Having more. Having what you need. Being grateful is a big, 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 big thing, I feel like. But also feeling like you're worthy. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have um, enough to, make, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have a new car, a new house, um, and being comfortable. Now, um, Ace of Crystals over here, you know, that is manifestation and um, prosperity. So you bring it forth. Manifest what you want in your life. Visualization, affirmations, um, yeah. And then we have love here. Let's see here with love. Okay. We have a number 15, which is the devil card. Seduction. We have six of shells, joy. We have number seven, the chariot, determination. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling from this. I feel like this is very much someone has so much passion for someone. And it is very seductive. It does not have a bad feel to it. It has a feel of could be twin flame. This could be a soulmate. This is, you know, if you believe in twin flame, this has got that feel to it. Um, I'm actually seeing the lover's card. So this is almost like this is coming towards someone. Or this is already together and it's moving forward. Um, now, I feel like that, um, you know, if you don't believe in Twin Flame or Soulmate, you know, it's a strong connection. This has got a feel of passion and love and, um, oh my goodness, this has got such a closeness to it. It does. It's, it's such a closeness to it. Um and, you know, determined. So if you're on, you know, if you're wanting your soulmate, you're wanting your twin flame, 
Be determined to have what you want. Manifest what you want in your life. And don't think negative. Don't don't let negativity come in. You know, um, you start to that wanting what you want, and then you wake up and you're like, "Well, I wanted what I want, and I don't." It's not when you know when's it coming, and you get you get in the negative zone. Yeah. So look at that. It's very seductive. I don't have any bad feelings with that devil card either. So that's got a very seductive feel to it. A very, uh, it's got a good feel to it. It's not got a bad feel. Now I want to go on over here. We've got the these right here. This was a reading. I don't really want to mess with my decks because I feel like I'm going to may need the bottom cards. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Princess of Gems, which is the ink one. This is for me. What I get from this card a lot is about someone that's standing on their own, standing strong, and they're being seen. They're being noticed. Now, we've got judgment here. Number 20, per perspective. So, are you standing strong? How are you seeing things? I feel like that's a question for you. Number 13, death, transformation. How you see things, you know, I feel like that with this being a judgment here, you know, it can be a lot to do with karma, a lot to do with uh, lessons. And if we hold on to what, you know, waiting on some karma to take, you know, karma don't lose no address, but don't sit back and wait on something like that. You know, when you, when you heal yourself to where you don't want nothing bad to happen to anyone and you, you are, you know, you're okay. I feel like that's when things can really change for you. I'm going to be honest. See, this is about someone changing the way that they see what other people's done to them. They've had a transformation. Things are changing for them. You know, it's like they went from this difficulty period to a strong, with strength here, understanding of what has happened and why it had to happen the way it happened. You know, and it's like they come away with such strength about them. It's got a good feel to it because it's all in standing strong on your own, you know, not needing to stand back and be like, they hurt me now. They need to, you know, karma needs to do this. No, this is about really just owning you and, you know, just letting it go, being happy with who you are. Do I need any more of these? Do I need any more of these for this message? This message. Thank you. Okay. We've got the builder. Let me see what we've got here. Okay. See here. This is about building something for yourself. Hangman. 12. Change the way that you look at things and it helps change your attitude. How you feel about things now that it's all about how you decide you know you have your tower moments you know you, you could say oh my goodness the tower card that's the you know the tower card or the devil card the worst deck uh card in the deck no the tower card is actually also to me a form of transformation something you know god has to change something in someone's life. Maybe, you know, there's something that just needs to go. You know, maybe they're not dealing with it themselves. So it has to change. The tower comes. Things fall. You know, it's change. You know, and I feel like that, I'm going to be honest, you know, you choose whether you want to have anxiety about things where this is concerned, you know. Um, it's going to make someone that someone's been or they're going to be in a lot of anxiety mode. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, and whoever I'm talking about, you know, there's someone I feel like they're very, they're, well, we got perfectionists. So, you know, things matter to them. 
and they take things very to heart. Now, here's the thing. I feel like that um, once they change their attitude, they gain so much independence, it's just unbelievable. And that makes the difference in their life. You know, it, it's like the way they looked at things is, is so different. I'm just going to be honest with you. Tell me. Blessings and well-being. See there? This, that's ten of shells. You know, it, it, being blessed. In other words, getting what they want because they're not dwelling on what they had or what happened or what wasn't even for them all that time. And they thought it was. Okay, I'm going to pull, um, I'm actually going to take some, some tarot. I feel like I'm supposed to, so... Um, really just, I'm going to tell you, if you want me to, people want me to pick up on them and such, I feel like you need to just kind of put your energy towards me. Just do that. That's just like whenever you uh, watch my readings, just kind of put your energy toward me. Say a prayer. Ask God to give you messages. And that message may come by way of me reading it could come through seeing. It could come through hearing. Okay. Okay. And those were those were actually tarot. Um, I am going to take a few other tarot cards though too. Whoop. Okay. message needs to be sent. World card. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. See, it's time for change with this world card. It's time for something to change and it's got to do with what you expect. I feel like someone expects something to come to them and it feels like it's in the way of a message or something. Don't expect it. Allow what's meant to be this right here and you know i'm gonna tell you you got justice so this is something that i feel like it's not up to you i'm just be honest you need to go about your life you need to do your thing you need to move forward because you you got a lot see that's the wish card this right here could actually be one of the the best cards in the day um, this can be a wish come true. You know, uh, for some people, this may be that you drink too much. I don't feel like it's that case in this this right here. This is like once someone reaches where they need to reach, that point of completion, and they stop expecting things to be the way they want them to be, with justice being here. And that could very well have to do with the karma thing. It's like their wishes. Can be granted. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. See. <clears throat> I'm getting that this emperor card on the bottom. I'm seeing that as a higher power. So. It's like God hearing your message. You just need to believe. You need to have faith. You know, so many people don't have faith only because they feel like they can't, you know, if they can't see, why should they believe? Yeah, you need to have faith. Okay. Let's see how many we got. We got 12. Hello. Good night. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to take some Archangel Tarot 
and we're just going to see what we get because I feel like there's some messages. There's still some messages I need to hit on, and we'll do it. Okay. Okay, let's just see. Okay. What is the messages we need to hear? Thank Spirit. Thank you. Ooh. See. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody needs to have more faith in themselves. I'm going to just tell you. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity. Sudden and immediate results. Important communication. Okay, so you got communication maybe going to come your way. It's very important. This is something that um, can really shake things up, change things about. Uh, we've got nine of Ariel here. Your dreams are fulfilled. So something coming to fruition. Hard work leads to great success. A love for beautiful things in life. This is beautiful. I should look at that. That's beautiful. This is beautiful. We got Page of Ariel. You know, pages are often messengers, like I mentioned. This is a feeling like there's a message coming to someone. It's very fulfilling. It's very, um, it's like someone's dreams coming true or a dream coming true. This says reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work so it's time to learn it's time to learn what you need to learn does that mean going back to school it doesn't have to be does it mean you know it's going to mean different things for different people and i'm just going to tell you like it is um it's not you know the same thing for everyone it feels like then we have here five of gabriel a challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others don't allow negativity to lure you in or take you to a place you don't want to be. That's very important. Um, have patience with yourself and those around you. So really think before you engage with others when drama is involved. Because on the bottom, you see there, we have peace. Number 13, Archangel Azrael, release the past, let it go. You know, there is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So let go of the past, allow God, allow the universe, the angels to guide you because you are headed to a brighter future things looking so much better for you it feels like that's an awesome awesome that feels so good um i am being drawn over here i don't get drawn to this deck very often but for some reason i'm drawn to it right now so this deck most of the time now sometimes i pick up something on it but if i don't i want you to just look at the card and see it's not this is not going to be for everyone um, actually, okay, I'm going to take three cards. Um, and if you feel like it's for you, I want you to look at the card and see what it makes you feel like from within. This is almost, it's almost always feels like it's something someone needs to look at from within. Okay, thank you. Okay, may I have the third? The third? May I have the last card? May I have the last card, please, Spirit? I feel like it'll be a throw. Okay, there's two more. Okay, I'll take them both. Okay, first out, now I want you to look at the card. The number is 30. Just look at the card. It says, calling the storm. What does this mean to you? Does this mean to anything to you about yourself from looking within? 
Let's look at it. Does it make you feel any way? Because that's very important. If it makes you feel something. Um, if not, then this card may not be for you. That's why the, I, they've had me do more cards. Then we have number 32, Today for Tomorrow. Today for Tomorrow. Then we have Bride in a Cage, number 21. Bride in a Cage. And then we have number 25, Faded to Suffer. Now, just look at these. And how do these make you feel? What do they make you feel? Do you feel like it's it's got something to do with you? If you do, then it does. Um, I'm going to show you again. So I know you're getting to see them. That's the first one. Calling the storm. This is about... These cards often for me are about what's within. Something within someone that they need to look at. Today for tomorrow. Today for tomorrow. Bride in a cage. Bride in a cage. Fated to suffer. You know, and this is, I feel like um, these cards are something to do within someone's mind or how they think about themselves or how they feel or um, something that may be holding them back and maybe they don't realize it. And once they see the cards and they figure out what it is about that card that draws them to it, it can help them to be able to deal with whatever is within them that may be holding them back. Um, that's what I feel like with that. So, let's see. And we've still got 11 people. So, I feel like... I feel like we're going to take a few more tarot. As long as our people stay up some, I will... Read some more. I want to take, if I can get them over here, this table's kind of full. I want to take um, some of the good tarot deck for you. I just want to see what message we get. Just want to see what message we get. Okay. Okay, what's the message that we need to know with the good tarot? What does the good tarot have to say? Thank you. Seven of water. Okay. Oh, somebody got some choices. And, and they may not even be realizing it because they're stuck on looking at one thing. I want you to look at that. What are you, what are you focusing on that? Maybe holding you back from seeing everything else. Do you see how she's focused on one, one item when there's so much more? Focusing on the wrong one can hold you back from the right one or focusing on the, the wrong object, the wrong job, the wrong circumstance can hold you back. So, okay, there's something someone needs to look at. Um, got to do with, I feel like dwelling on the wrong one. You know, 
Yeah. Dwelling on the wrong one is going to keep you stuck from finding the right one. That's dwelling on. I want you to look. Look at all these bright, beautiful. Look how big that one is. And just dwelling on that one up there. Just kind of. Oh, my God. That's the one. Maybe it's not the one. Maybe that's not the situation. Maybe that's not the object. Maybe that's not the person. And if you just keep um, focusing on that one, you're not allowing the one to come in. Or you're not allowing a new situation to evolve because you're stuck in that same mindset, that same frame of mind. That's what somebody's doing. That's what somebody's doing. I feel it. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, tell me more. Tell us more. Nine of water. <laughs> See, that's the wish come true. Once you look at that, but I want you to also look at how the dwelling on one. You see, they're putting out. They're letting us know right here because I'm drawn to it. I'm drawn to how these both of these look at them. Both of these mermaids are dwelling on a certain object. You see that? Now this is a wish card. Nine of water, that's nine of cups. That's a wish dream come true. But it's also telling me that someone is fixated on oh, possibly a dream or a belief or a, a person that is not the one. It's almost like um, someone may, may be having like a false soulmate feel or maybe it's a soulmate that's taught them a lesson. Okay, so you got uh, lots of options for some of for some of you, and a dream on its way, a dream come true, a wish come true on the way. So now, tell us more. Tell us more about this. Here, King of Water, Temptation. there okay someone needs to make some different decisions and it's got to do with their emotions um i feel like that with temptation being here that's that's kind of a big deal okay someone so we got the moon on the bottom now the moon can often be about um now this is the good tarot so the moon can often be about um, not seeing things as clearly as you should or not seeing things, you know, um, not seeing them in a light that is going to help you in whatever way you need to be helped. Uh, it's illusions, uh, maybe rose-colored glasses, seeing what we want to see, you know, instead of seeing what is truly happening or what is within a relationship or what maybe a person is truly like there's illusion here uh, we've got temptation here because i feel like that it's almost like um okay they see they've changed this they've changed this okay this has changed someone has plenty of options they have plenty of options they've got a wish that's going to come true but here's the kicker. Do you choose from looking? Do you choose from sight? Do you choose from um, what someone can do for you or what someone can give? Or you know what I'm saying? This is about feel. Um, this has definitely got that closeness. For some, this could be a soul, soul connection. But this is about feeling feeling and and connection and when you feel that and you have that connection it's like you're going to be drawn to one another now here's the thing we've got the king of cups very emotional it feels like um and we've got temptation you know fives you know three fives makes up that 15 change 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 profound change Two of air, two of swords, decisions, thinking. So <clears throat> don't be tempted by materialism. Don't be tempted 
by anything that can not be your wish come true. This is about feeling. This is about um, <sighs> drawing what you want to you. Now, if this has not got to do with a person and this is sim uh, situations, I feel like that, man, I feel like I'm going to be honest with you. You know, you're going to have a lot of temptations because you've got a lot of choices. If this is jobs, there, there's choices. Um, now, Nine of Cups is here, so it feels like things can go your way. But you really need to think into it. You know, you need to, I feel like, look at how, you know, we've got four of air here, four of swords. I feel like you really need to look into things. You don't need to just feel the emotion when it comes to if this has got to do with the situation, if this has got to do with, um, it feels like uh, for some, this has got to do with a job or something of that, that nature or money or something. See? Feeling, feeling. Need to be more uh, thinking, it feels like, when you make that decision. Because temptation can lure us to choose in the wrong the wrong way. You see what I'm saying? Um, you may choose by what you used to would choose by, which I feel like you're going to need to think about this if this has got to do with the job. Because you want to choose... Um, you don't want to choose from an illusion of what, you know, it may look like. So I feel like research, too, if this has got to do with money, because that, that may make the, all the difference. Okay. God. I'm seeing, actually, a piggy bank break the bank. So I have to do with the difference in money. Um. If this has got something to do with a family situation, and I feel like that, I'm going to be honest, I feel like for someone, there's something to do with a, a decision in a family. It was a hard decision to make. It's a very emotional decision to make. And someone may be tempted to back out of it. And this could have to do with hard love. It very well could be. I feel like that you really need to look at things deeper because sometimes you have to do what you've got to do to protect yourself so I don't know who that's for that that's this is it's a feeling like someone needs to protect themselves um, and that could be from just you know someone just making you feel horrible or saying mean things and you just had to say you know I, I can't take this anymore. I need peace in my life. So you're, you know, I'm going to have to kind of guard myself. I'm going to have to kind of um, back away a little bit here. Um, I feel like that that's, you know, speaking your peace and speaking your, what you feel and really, you know, speaking page of the page of earth, page of wands, speak that truth, tell what you feel, um, you know, and I know that's not a sword, but it's standing strong. Um, I feel like that um, for some, this could have to do with a child. Um, or maybe you're the child, you know, and, and this has got, this has got a feel for someone that someone's behavior is just not, it's like it doesn't change. And, you know, it's like someone's had to have some tough love for someone. And I feel like that, they're tempted to stop having that tough love because it's like someone, you know, but I feel like that um, someone may, may have had to put someone in a, for rehab or something. I'm not sure. It's, it's feeling like someone had to do something that was very tough and it was very hard, but they, they had to do it because it's, it's almost like <sighs> to help the person, you know, it's like they weren't, wouldn't help themselves. That's what I'm feeling. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know what it's about. But it's for someone. Um, and it's standing strong. Standing strong. You know. Uh, even though there's been so much pain with that ten of swords. It's standing strong. And being able to be that rock. And that, that foundation. To help this person through. 
So I don't know what that's about. And it may be about a family. It, it may be about a situation. It may not have nothing to do with, for some of you, to do with um, someone being put into some place. It could be something totally different. But whatever it is, it's about tough love. It's about standing the ground to help someone to realize something, to see something. Okay. That's what we got with that. Um, okay. What do... Does anyone, I mean, oh my goodness. Okay. I could pull a couple cards. Well, no, I'll pull one card. If you hurry up and put that you want me to pull a card, if you hurry up and put a question or whatever, I'll pull a card for you. Um, I can't sit here all night and do it, though. So let's speed type and I have to get to them. Don't make it a long question. What would I say? Sorry to people that work. Okay. Okay. Remember, go slow though. Um, would like to know if I will have kids in the future. If so, how many? Now that you may not get an answer to that. Okay kids in the future okay okay well we've got the three of cups out three to six Ooh, i'm getting spirit tangles now these this prayer um you <laughs> This could be grandchildren, or this could be even um, children in your life. This is, I'm not, yeah, I'm not feeling automatic children, per se, of yours. Um, but there's a closeness here, that Three of Cups. So, who else we got? That's what I'm getting for you. Okay. So, I would say three to six. If that is children in your life. And hello. Okay. A card pulled for you in career. Eh. Something ending. Something changing. You're very welcome. Something ending. Something changing. And um, on those numbers for them children. Three. Six. So three to six months. Three to six years. Um, yeah. Yeah. Could even be nine. We'll say it that way. Okay. Something ending, something changing in career or something needs to change. So with the death card, it does not have to be a horrible thing. It can be a transformation as well. Something changing in your career. You know, maybe it's the way you look at it. Maybe it's the way you do things. Maybe something changes to, to move you up the ladder. This is going to be up to you to perceive how you take this. But with the death card, there's a transformation. Either something needs to change or something is going to be forced change. Or maybe, you know, it's time for a change. Okay. 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 Career for you, too, as well. Career for Laura. Career. Career. May I have one for Laura? Okay. Okay, we got the moon. Three of swords. Okay, I feel like it, you... Okay. Laura, if you haven't got a job that, you know, if you're not, if you're not already got one, you've got the three of swords out here, you've got the moon card. There's something you're not seeing clearly. Now, if you've already got a job, still there's something you're not seeing clearly. And I'm going to tell you, if, you, if you're if you showing your emotions too much, don't do that. Whatever, whatever there's something... Okay, wait just a minute. Okay, please clarify. Okay. 
the way you look at things. I'm going to tell you right now, you got the fool the fools reversed. I'm going to tell you, though, what I'm feeling from this is you, okay, maybe you need to guard yourself a little bit more, but you need to change the way you're seeing something. There's something the way you're seeing something. Um, if you're looking for a job, maybe you need to look for a different job. Look for something different. Okay, your contract ended. Okay, look at it differently. If you're looking at that, I'm getting spirit tangles. Okay, look at it differently. You've got the three of pentacles. You know, that's about relationship. That's about work. That's about, show your worth. Don't see this as, don't see it in, don't see it in a bad light. Look at this as a good, in a good light. Even if it feels uh, hurtful or it feels, you know, like, oh my goodness, see it in a good light. Man, bring in the best. Don't bring in the worst. See, if you feel too much, I mean, if, it's good to have your guard up, but it's good to stand your ground. But at the same time, don't don't let yourself feel too wounded and and, you know, don't bring in something you don't want. You want to bring in something good. So. Be confident in who you are. Show what you can do. And things bring in something better. Bring in something better. That's what I'm feeling from that. Bring in something better. Okay. Oh, looky there. Yeah. See, okay. The King of Cups is out here. Don't be too emotional when as you're going forward. Um. And you, you may have to put yourself out there. You may have to get out in the public. You may get seen more. Um, you may have to travel further. But it feels like it'll be worth it. Okay, what else do we have here? What else do we have here? A love card. Read. So you want me to take one about love. Love. I took some for love. But I could take another one. Okay. For love, adulting for love, for love. Okay, we've got the emperor. That's about power. The power is in your hands. What do you want? What is it that you want as far as love is concerned? The power is in your hands. We got privacy. You may need to be more private with something that you do. Um, possessiveness came out. If you are too possessive then that may push away someone. I'm going to tell you right now, you've got the emperor and the empress has came out. Um, so, wow. There's attraction, the lover's card. This could be a soulmate connection. Um, charmer. So someone being very charming. Now, being over-possessive is not going to be good. Uh, so if that's you, you may need to tone that down. If that's them, you know, uh, but this, oh my God, you got the emperor and the empress has came out. Both. That's a power couple. That that could be the one. We got the lovers come out. That could be the one. But the thing is, is you got to make it work. Everyone has free will. And, you know, I can tell you what the cards say, but everyone's got free will. They they bring out what they want. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah. You're very welcome. Hey. Okay. Okay. Now, let's say I'm going to take a few more cards and then I'm going to have to get off of here. Um, okay. Let's see. What do I want to take now? Um, that's all for the pulling for you. Um, let's see. I'm going to take some, I feel like I need to take some inspirational messages, just messages of sorts. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I will be going off. I'll try to come back on sooner. Okay, let's take some inspiration cards for y'all. Um, just something that maybe you need to hear. I'm going to take one of these. Well, no, actually, I'm going to take three. I'm going to do it the same way that I did it the last time. 
Uh, I'll do it in threes. That way you're choosing. You just fill into it. And we'll go with it. One of these. These. And then that will be all for tonight. I'm also going to do an affirmation. I will not say it three times, but I will hold it up. Well, I'll go ahead and speak it three times, and you can speak it after me. Um, I like to say them three times, and uh, at the ending, I like to say, and so it is. So I'll do that, and that way we have that done. Okay, let's start with this one. There's number one. Number two. Number three. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Now, this is number one deck, number two deck, and number three. One, two, three. Let me put a stone on them so that you can look at it a little bit differently. Now, I want you to look at the decks if you weren't with us earlier. And I want you to, and if you weren't with us earlier, you may want to go back and watch the rest of this. Because I've been doing it in a pick a card style. So, yeah, this is for whoever. And these are, you know, you can watch them later. Yeah. So, one, two, three. Close your eyes. Which is drawing you to it? Maybe it's all three. Maybe it's one of them. We're going to start here with number one. Okay. Let's start with our big card first. I want to show you the picture. It's very beautiful. And what it says is reality is not that you are weak and dream of becoming strong. Poor and dream of becoming rich. Alone and dream of having friends. But that you're already strong, rich, and among friends. Yet at times you dream that you're not. Silly from the universe, from God, from a higher power. That's your message. Take it how you may. But for me, it, it feels like a lot about, you know, if you're manifesting something, if you want something, change the way you're looking at things. Change the way you're feeling. Okay. And then we have this beautiful card, which says, Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. And then on the back, it has another little message. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others. And others love me. That's beautiful. And very important. Very. And then we have... This beautiful card, which can sometimes be an affirmation of sorts. Okay, we're going to do this as an affirmation. So, after just speak after me. This is for the card Joy. <clears throat> now, here we go. 
You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So the way I would say that, if you want to repeat it after me again, I delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that I do. I delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that I do. I delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that I do. And so it is. So that's a positive affirmation that you can say anytime. Now, here is our other affirmation card. And it is empathy. Now, repeat after me, please. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation, and so it is. So that's what we have for stack number one. Move on to stack number two. We start with our big card. Here is our beautiful picture. In our message from the universe, from God. Psst. It's me again, the universe. You deserve more. You know much more. Try this. Stop trying to predict and therefore limit where it's going to come from. Just know it's going to come. And let me, the universe, God, figure out the rest. That is your message. So stop trying to control things and allow God to take the wheel. Allow the universe to take control. Allow a higher power to take control. Okay. And then we have the past is over. The past is over. That's clarification. The past is over. On the other side, this is a new day. One that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. That's beautiful. And then we have this one. And it says, self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. So, loving oneself allows others to love us. It's very important. And then we have our affirmation. So, if you want to repeat after me, this is for regret. So, just repeat after me. I know that I cannot change the past. I know that I cannot change the past. I know that I not I cannot change the past, and so it is. So this is, it feels like is about letting go of what cannot change. I mean, it is it is what it is, and um, acknowledging it, seeing it, feeling the feelings, and moving forward. Okay, our third one, this beautiful picture. Look at that. Boy, I could use some tropical right now. Sand under my feet. <laughs> okay, let's see our message. The secret to getting rich is knowing that you already are and then acting like it. Do tell me who manages your assets and those gems. Are they real? So, do you limit yourself? I feel like that's a good question to ask. Then we have this beauty. Aha, it goes right along with it, don't it? I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. 
And yes, you do. You do deserve the best. You just got to see it. I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good. Now allow it. Okay, and then we have this one. And it is priorities. Let's see that. I'll read it to you. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So love in your life is very important. Having love in every aspect of your life is very important. Seeing your priorities. Okay. My hair getting and everything. Then we have our affirmation, which is blame. I want to show you that. Blame. Now repeat after me, please. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being, and so it is. That's very important, it feels like. So that is what we've got there. I do appreciate each and every one of you for being here with me. If you haven't subscribed, please do and hit that thumbs up. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, much light and love. Until next time, from Spring Lafay. Bye.